Hi guys, another post bag. No clues on the outside here. Oh yes there is, on the back. Gift. <laughs> I think it might be ESCs. Oh, the sun's coming out. Yep, a couple of the ESCs. And the sun shining on them. I'm hoping these are ones that I've had before. There's a switch on them which I think turns the brake off. I don't put links in the video descriptions anymore, but I do put the title of the item. So you can cut and paste it and put it into your search engine of choice or your online shop of choice and you should be able to find the same item and check out the prices for yourself. All right, see if we can demonstrate. So, got the brake off or on? I can't remember now, let's have a look. Right, that's the brake off, obviously. Switch it the other way. I don't know if I need to switch it off and on again, but we'll do it anyway. Okay, so now the brake should be on. Yeah, there we go. Brake on. Let's just see if it works without switching it off and on again. No, we need to switch it off and on again so it works. Yeah, so it works. And that's the switch to switch the brake on and off, which is just what I want. I'll just briefly explain why I'm using two ESCs in this radio control car. Well, if you've watched some of my videos of converting toy grade radio control cars to hobby grade, this is the quick and easy way to do it. Um, this isn't a particularly good example because this isn't a, a toy grade car originally. This was a toy car that had no power in it at all. It was a push along. What we've got in the back is toy grade uh, back axle. So you've got motor, gearbox and axle there. And at the front end, we've got toy grade steering. So we've got a motor there that drives the steering all the way one way until it hits a stop. And when you reverse the current, it drives the steering all the way the other way till it hits a stop. That's the way that toy grade steering works. It goes all the way. That motor's still trying to go further, but it can't because it physically can't go any further. And when you go the other way, it does the same thing. It goes as far as it can. The motor would still be turning if it could, but it's hit a stop. So that's the way toy grade works. And then the center there's a spring on the other side of that that brings it back to the middle. And all I do in my hobby grade conversion is use two ESCs. The one controlling the drive motor, that's logical. The further you push the stick, the faster. The faster the motor drives, so the faster the car goes. So we got proportional drive or proportional throttle. But the ESC driving the steering 
although it's trying to do it proportional, it really doesn't make any difference. As long as that motor's got power to it, it will try and go as far as it can. So just moving the rudder control, in this case, a little bit, it still goes all the way. It goes a bit faster when you push it all the way, but it still goes all the way even with just a little touch. So you haven't got proportional steering. You've got a little bit of proportional in that if you just touch it a little bit you've got a bit of time before it goes all the way. So you've got a little bit but you haven't got true proportional steering. But that's the quick and easy way to do a toy grade to hobby grade conversion. The proper conversion would be to do away with that motor and put a servo just here that's going to push that arm backwards and forwards. And then with a proper servo you've got proportional steering as well. So that's why I use two ESCs. Obviously if you're doing steering you don't want an ESC that's got a brake on it because it will go right and then you can't get it to go left until you've knocked the brake off. So that's no use at all. So you need an ESC with no brake for the steering and you can choose whether you want a brake or not for the throttle. So there you go. That's why I use two ESCs on simple hobby grade conversions. Hey, thanks for watching. There's plenty of videos on my main channel with more added daily. So don't forget to subscribe and enable the notifications to keep you up to date with my new releases. My second channel, Grandad's other channel, is where I put the longer videos with more detail. Then there's my Facebook page and you can follow me on Twitter. You can help keep my channel running by donating a dollar on Patreon to buy me coffee. And if you fancy some Grandad merchandise, I have two shops, one on Redbubble and the other on Cotton Car. Finally, you can always find more information in the video description. Thanks again for watching.